Hi, I'm Jake, and I'm a search lead at Google. So I work um, with pods and clients. Um, pods at Google are a group of account managers and account executives who work on a group of clients. You really partner with AMs and AEs on overarching strategy within their entire pod or their entire group of clients across their book. But you also work directly with clients and get to talk to them about how to tie their business objectives to their search efforts and make sure that there is a direct tie there so that everything that they grow within their search advertising or also connects to growth for their business. So some examples of some popular search engines, obviously uh, Google is a big player in this space um, really across the globe, but there's a lot of players in this space. Bing is one of the biggest players in the United States. Baidu is one of the biggest players over in China. There's Yandex, there's Yahoo Japan. There's a plethora of options when it comes to different search engines that you can show for organically and also advertise on. Skills across these search engines are very transferable. The reason for that is that they have very similar uh, algorithms involved in terms of getting what, you, what information users see, specifically on the organic side. The big thing that you need to learn on the ad side is you might need to learn different platforms, uh, user interfaces on the ad side. But when it comes to the organic side, um, they're very transferable. A lot of times, similar searches will show similar results on different search engines. They're really the three stages of the search algorithm. The first is crawling. We're trying to basically hunt for all of the information across the web. The next is indexing which is where you take all of that information and you start to understand it, start to understand the relevance, the themes and things of that nature. And then third is serving, which is what we're familiar with as users. When we search, that's when things get served. And the serving is tied to relevance of everything that's indexed. So it goes through everything that got indexed and it decides what's served based off the relevance of the search. So another piece of these three stages, crawling, indexing and serving, is that it's always continual and ongoing. The crawling stage doesn't stop and go into the index stage. The index stage doesn't stop and go into the serving stage. This is very important because there's different websites coming across the web all the time. That's important for the crawling stage to continue and find this information. And 15% of searches are unique. So it needs to have an understanding of relevance and how to serve users uh, differently off of these new searches that it's never seen before. So the process is continual, not static, but they do feed into each other and go in that order. What's really the purpose of search algorithms? Getting users relevant information that is available across the web. That's really what it comes down to. And the goal of all of these search engines and in all of these companies is really to be as relevant as possible for the user so that the user keeps coming back.